his legs together here and then we're here and here this doesn't bother me at all <laughs> okay. there you go that's what so, you're doing so here we are he's in a twisted twisted up situation but I'll, I'll show you guys what to do from here but you don't you don't want to let your um, hook get killed because the whole point with a hook it's intended to pull, but here he's not doing anything with that hook. Because no, I'm not on the side. Because your knee has to be pointed to the ceiling. Your knee should be like this. To, to keep me at least from turning in this way. Because for me to turn, look at this way. <clears throat> for me to turn, put this on my bicep. So one, two, three. From, see how far your hip is? Yeah. Okay, now you want to keep my heel because for me to turn my knee out that way, which is what I want, I have to rotate my foot. If I can't turn my foot, I can't align my knee that way. It'd be weird. Right. Okay, so here, this is constantly keeping up to the ceiling, pointing up, so that you're reinforcing this grip with this knee. So you could have it as a hook which is pulling and lifting, or if it starts getting twisted, you can take it out, bend it, and use this knee as a daily heave of wall. Right here. So you're preventing this wall from letting my foot rotate. You see that? And he keeps moving his hip and it, re it realigns my foot the wrong way. I wanna get up on my heel and move it this way here. And now begin to drive it across here so that I can kill this hook, okay? <clears throat> so, <clears throat> one, two, three. So, hooking here, controlling here, you're gripping here, okay? I don't want him to push that down like so, okay? Here is still okay, because his D is, you know, but then I would just go here, and I realign it, and I would start lifting him and disbalancing him. See how now his knee's not aligned. He realigns his knee. And you keep moving. Oh. <laughs> you already you got me off balance. <laughs> because that's what happens when you get them off balance. They'll fall the opposite way. So you keep pulling him to the right as he postures up. He's very susceptible to falling off to the left. All right. But what normally typically happens when you split their stance, so there's one, and I want to pull them across so that my feet start coming up two in the bicep, three right here. Yeah, sit, 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 sit. Sit. I go to four here and I push them away. Oftentimes, they'll go down on that knee because they're losing their balance, okay? And now from here, as you tilt them to the right, heel posture up, and you tilt them back to the left, and you trip them over your bottom leg, okay? Hey, Professor, do you have a um, specific spot on the, the ankle that you grab every time, or is that perfect? Yeah, I want to grab at the Achilles. Okay. If you grab at the at the ankle, you can rotate. It's like grabbing here or grabbing here. Right. Okay, I want to grab here to prevent him from turning his heel in. Gotcha. So one, two, three. Okay. So see how far my hip is over? I'm here. 
I can also go here and reset my hips. This is what I want to be here. So, and he's got right below my ankle bone, uh -huh. right here, right at the bottom of the Achilles. Because look, in order for him to bring his knee and to kill the hook, he's got to turn his foot this way. Yes. So if I go here, okay, he loses it again. And now what I'm going to do is, sorry, mm -hmm. I'm going to be pulling here. So now it's hard for him to turn his foot. Yeah. And he turns his foot. I can move. Come on, now it's like it's said, yeah, see how he's already tilting that way. Mm -hmm. He'll tilt this way, okay? And I'll move my foot to the thigh, split his base, pull him this way. Typically, they'll pull their, put their knee down, okay? And I go here, and I keep pushing this right here as I keep pulling, and he'll want to posture up. And then you just basically hook here, and you're just tripping him over the inside leg. It's, it's very effective. And from here, I want an underhook, okay? Or I want an underhook here, so I can begin to block that top, okay? <clears throat> so what you guys can do is, you can start <coughs> with the person on one knee, <clears throat> on the back knee. This is very common here, because look, again, one, two, three, okay? Four. Right, and I'm pulling him this way. Why? To get it even better, I need this way. Why? I pull him this way. He, he doesn't want, yeah, he wants to posture up. So I pull him down this way. He starts posturing up. You see how I hook his heel here? And then my foot comes off and I just lift him up. Oh, he's lifting my, he's okay. lifting my right foot up. Correct. And I'm bringing my knee back. I'm not trying to hip bump him. Okay. One more time. Yeah. So you're here. Again, so look, one, two, three, the grip, four, push him away, pull him this way here. He's gonna wanna posture here. My left foot comes off. It's like you hook it with this here. And now like a technical stand-up, I just wanna bring the knee back. I don't wanna do this. This is not what I'm trying to do. Watch the air underneath my here. foot. You go here and then get this here. Because now you can pass and you counter his underhook, presuming that he's going to get an underhook if you don't, because you have a call. All right? So you watch. How this happens, very common on close guard. Collar. He blocks the bicep or whatever he's posting here, okay? Sleeve here, you post up that right foot. So here, 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 now. You just put that knee down, okay? And keep pulling him to the right and lifting this up, yeah, right here. Y'all come up with me. I want to come over here, you can see where his foot is completely lifting off the ground when he's hooking I it. want to do this with his foot. As I just keep your hand locked here, you're gonna go. This knee slides back. Michael, one more time. Skinny knee. So we're here. So I got one, I got I just went to four, this thigh. Okay and two right here, okay? I'm gonna push his knee back so I can sit up, so I can push here, okay? And I pull him to the right. He goes this way here. You see how my leg catches his heel in the V? And now, all I'm gonna do is slide my left knee back as I get up on my right foot and left hand. Here and right away here. And then from here. You pass. Okay? You're not hip bumping, you're pulling your knee back. So it's like if you were to do a technical stand up here. I'm not getting up like this. I'm getting up 